Welcome to 25 and Broke, where I teach you how to stop being broke financially, socially, physically, and spiritually so that you can stop being a wuss and start being a winner. Today we're talking about dealing with the fear of failure. Dealing with the fear of failure, right? Uh, man, this is a good one. This this one gets me fired up, uh, excited, because my whole life has been about fear. Um, you know, just starting backwards, right? We don't get to choose our, our upbringing, our childhood. That is given to us. Um, and we don't know why sometimes some of you, uh, maybe you grow up, grew up in a broken home like I did, divorce hit, uh, at an early age, seven and a half, year, uh, sorry, eight and a half years old. And man, that jacked me up psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, um, for years of my life. And I had to overcome that. And there was fear there. There was deep, ingrained, rooted fear. Uh, that really dominated my life, dominated me in business um, and and just so many areas of my life. And I, I needed to face that fear, needed to overcome it. So we're going to talk about that today, right? Um, you know, Tony Robbins talks about this, and he says, when it comes to fear, don't fight the fear, just push through it, right? Do it anyway. Dance with it. Learn to dance with the fear. Now, that's interesting, right? How do you learn to dance with your enemy? If you can master that and learn to dance with the, the skadoosh within yourself and accept it, and instead of fighting it, do what you can to remove it from yourself, but then surrender it. Surrender it to God, your creator, right? And, and just say, man, if this is the lot that I was given, okay. It sucks. It's not my first choice, but it's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop you. Do not let it hold you down. For so many years, I let it hold me down. And what a waste of my time and energy. We're only here on earth renting space for so many years. I say this very often. And that is so important. Don't waste that time. Learn to dance with the fear. Learn to push through the fear. And the way, uh, you know, something that really helped me was to imagine the imagine uh, the pain of not doing the very thing that scared me, right? So that thing that scared me was my dream, my goal, what I wanted, that thing I'm going to fight for. This is where I want to head in life, and it excites me. Uh, but here I am anchored down. You're anchored down right now. I know it. I know where you're, you are in your life. That's where I was. And, and learn to... Um, say, okay, imagine, close your eyes and imagine, do this exercise, and you may have to do it more than once, and that's okay. But imagine, in order to get to where you're going, imagine if you never get there the rest of your life, right? Tony Robbins uses uh, this uh, example or imagery of you're in a rocking chair, you're 85 years old, you're about to die, you look back on your life, you don't want to have any regrets, so what do you do? Instead, you know, you think back, and and now, right now, right here in your life, you can change that. You can imagine the pain. What would it feel like when you're 85 years old in that rocking chair and you look back on your life and you did not do the very things that you knew you were meant to do, that you were pre-wired for, that give you passion, that lights you up, but you didn't do them out of fear? That's a crappy feeling. So rather than feel that at 85 years old when you no longer have the energy, the capacity, the health maybe to go out and do those things right here, right now, now in your life, you're 20 years old, you're 25 years old, you're 30 years old, you're 35 years old. You have the energy. You have the resources. Be resilient. Go after those things, right? So imagine the pain of not doing it. And when the pain of not doing the very thing that you, that scares you most is greater than the pain of actually sucking it up, manning up, and doing it, that is when you're going to have your breakthrough. That's when you're going to learn to dance with the fear. And that, my friends, is where I want you. So remember this. Here's the lesson for today. If it scares you, do it anyway. If it scares you, do it anyway. You're a man. Fight through this. Don't just be a wuss, right? We talk about wuss and winner. Be a winner. A winner pushes through the pain, does it anyway. It hurts. You're not in the mood to do it. 
I'll use me as an example right now. Uh, I didn't get much uh, sleep last night, and I'm really not up to shooting this episode. That's how I feel. That's how my body feels. It doesn't want to do it. But here I am doing it anyway. Why? Because I have to add value. That's my purpose. I'm here to add value to your life, to help you become the boldest version of yourself. In order for me to help others to become the boldest version of themselves, I have to become the boldest version of myself first. And that means whatever scares me, I do it anyway, regardless of how it feels. So I wish you the same. My name is Joseph Warren, and you were made for greatness. So stop being a wuss and start being a winner. Catch you tomorrow. Peace.